All right, guys. So, um, how do I start this? So I started off this video shooting um, a completed kit of this high new bus that I actually had from before, which I actually um, did assemble. Then I took it apart to spray it. I took some videos of the spraying process, but unfortunately, um, I had to up upgrade or update my iOS. And it screwed everything up and I lost the footage. That's the worst thing that can happen when it comes to a content creator trying to shoot his stuff or his, his work. Anyway, it is what it is. So I continue to spray the, the stuff. I realized at least my parts were still sprayed all well. And I'm just going to have to fast forward the video uh, and just show you the parts that have been sprayed. And then after that, followed by um, the assembling and reassembling process. I will be needing to actually um, put it together and also fit in the LEDs that come with this particular kit. So here we go. Let's have a look at the sprayed parts. Here we go. So here are the parts that have been sprayed. This has been sprayed in Anchorette Blue, High New Blue, a new paint that I tried. And then um, this is the red that I actually mixed um, to make a bit, a bit of white, it's actually Mr. Hobby Paint. Um, then you can see here, this is the l uh Chrome color that I just tried. This one uh, is the ro um, Robot Gold, Modo Paint Robot Gold that I actually managed to get as well. So the this particular paint is really, really thick. Um, so you actually need to scoop it up and use a lot of thinner to thin it down similar with this particular paint this blue but the, the outcome is really beautiful this blue is really awesome it's made by anchorette paint not easily available and it's actually made for the ygl usual uh, high new gundam uh, resin kit okay and then i sprayed this in misobi bronze with a gloss black alcat gloss black as the base and then here is the Acre Gloss Black is a base as well as um, Burnt Iron Mr. Hobby, right? And further down here is actually the Alclad Black Chrome. If you actually look the color between this, the Alclad Black Chrome, and this one's here, which is the Burnt Iron, it's actually very, very similar. But I still prefer the Black uh, Chrome from Alclad, okay? I took some of the robot uh, gold from the model paint to actually hand brush and paint some of these parts. Okay, I can't be um, I can't be very much uh, excited now to now put the whole thing, whole kit back together. Uh, this is not the complete. I still have some of them uh, in my basement or my spray area, and that's the parts that I speak about gray and also some of the white portions. You can see the. The white portions of the head here that I have as well. Yeah, sorry for the focus. Okay, let's put this thing together and then figure out the LED portion as well. So as putting in the LED, um, this particular portion doesn't have a hole for the LED to get through. This is the back of the head. So I'm actually just um, using a hand drill to actually make the hole so the um, LED bulb can come through. Yep, so I managed to make a hole. So it will go through. So this one is the top of the head and this is the bottom of the head to put in the LED through. So now the both the thing LEDs are set in um, onto the top of the head. This is the front and um, then this is the rear of the head. Okay, with green LEDs. The head, so there's one more LED that goes to the top of the head there. And then um, the, this part that I just installed just now goes on the top. So now I'm going to clamp it together. The other thing is also to put the wires through this T, uh, which forms the neck, um, before you insert that in. So the face plate goes in as well. So this is the bottom, right where all the wires come out. So you have one LED there, uh, one LED at the top, and then one LED inside um, near for the eyes. All these are green in color. So here is he, um, before I put on the other armor. Looks pretty cool, looks pretty good. Yeah. 
All right, guys. So we have more or less uh, put the kit back together. You have the spot, which is the base, which I actually painted um, with l -clad black chrome here. I uh, made a mistake, guys. <laughs> I didn't paint this part and I didn't erase this part. So one day I'll just maybe fix it up. But that's my floor. These parts were all painted uh, in, in Mr. Hobby gray, uh, net neutral gray, it's called. Then this gold part is actually um, the Modo um, Robot Gold, it's called. So this is the base. Then this part, uh, yeah. Um, then this part and this part will then be connected together like this. It will sit on top of here and then the head goes on there. This part was painted um, in bronze, Mr. Hobby bronze, I believe, yeah. And so this will fit on top of this. I, I need to um, more importantly figure out and make sure that I get the wiring correct. So you can see all the wiring sitting down out here with this, which will be inserted here. So I need to start putting it through and um, I'm going to use an electrical glue rather than solder it to the battery uh, placement that will be placed on into this portion here. Sorry. Yeah. Will be, that will be placed in, into that, that portion. Yeah. So that's going to be my next process. I'm just going to have to figure out that part. Maybe before I go, I didn't install this, but this is the, the one that was sprayed in uh, Anchorette high new special blue right so it's got like a tinge of like uh purple if you like um and it's actually a special color usually used for the ujalian or yjl high new uh resin kit okay i'm just gonna go ahead and do it now all right so i've started snipping using like a, just a normal um plier we call it snipping all these bits you can see here off um, extending the wires a little bit and then then I just twisted them around um, so that they all connect and then I can uh, put a battery like so and uh, test them out make sure that they all light up yep, let's see they are all lighting up just that um, yep. see the, they are all lighting up and then even the um, the blue ones as well can't really see they are a bit dim so i just need to now uh, apply some of the electrical glue and then further then i'm gonna use a piece cut out piece like that because as to extend it then connect it to um, the negative and termi positive terminal of this and then there is going to be a switch that also moves onto it uh, to connect it turn it on and off okay i'm just going to do that now so the two capsules with the blue LED also are uh, all done. Again, holding it up here. Um, so this kind of completes the LED. The next thing I need to know is how to then uh, connect it. I will not be soldering. I'll be using some special electrical uh, glue to get it together. Yeah, so I've used a little bit of uh, this liquid electrical tape, which is like a paste, right? So if you push it out, it's like a, some black little paste. So it's some sort of a like um cape but in liquid form for electrical uh, connection so you can see i've actually put some of it over here maybe a bit too much but because i need to connect this into another wire um, to allow me to then connect into um the battery clear uh, which will be here to this this point right so i'm gonna go ahead and start working on the other uh the other one here to connect it yep aha uh -huh. so just a very quick shot i didn't have the time to actually um attempt the wiring part but more or less most of the parts have been fixed in it's just um taking your time to figure out the wiring um the portion of the guy and that'll be the next part and this guy will the next then we obviously will be the decals as decals that come with the kit uh, and that will be next okay so the next step now is actually to apply the water slide decals that comes with the kit um, onto the head bus. Right, so that's what I'm going to do next to get it all done. It's quite nice, uh, beautiful decals to, 
to match this head mask. So let's go ahead and apply them. Okay, so I managed to finish decaling the guy, kind of putting in the LEDs. Actually, honestly, the LEDs didn't really work as I wanted it to. Um, but uh, I kind of like uh, light it up just to show the LEDs working so that uh, we can see this full um, bust in action. So all in all, it's not an easy uh, LED um, circuitry. Unfortunately, um, it doesn't, the tray that is supposed to fit in here didn't really fit. Um, the wiring was also very difficult to maneuver to get it in there. So I kind of like put it on a makeshift uh, battery just to show the lighting. Um, but other than that, the kit um, comes with nice decals as you can see here. Um, this portion is also able to open up to reveal the inside. Right. So which I had sprayed in uh, gunmetal, sorry, uh, black chrome in there as well. Okay, so let's have a round here. You can see a little bit more. This guy, yeah, it's a beautiful bust, I would say. Some people say that the the part here, the face is a little bit too sharp, but all in all, um, still a good alternative to have a high new uh, bust um, that can light up if you like. Thanks for watching guys, so I'm going to do some um, clear uh, close-up shots, sorry, and we can see from here. The painting of this kit, uh, I really like the blue that came out. This is the, as I mentioned, the Anchoret YGL uh, High New Resin Kit Blue, which came out pretty nice on the kit. Um, yeah, so thanks for watching guys, hope you liked it. If you can get a hell of this bus, get it. It's, it looks good. Once you paint it, it looks even better. Uh, if you can get the LEDs to work well, then it's even uh, another bonus. Thanks, guys. Oh. Yeah, one last thing I wanted to show you guys is this part. So this kit comes with two colors. So this is the light blue, which I painted into the special um, Anchorette blue for high, high new uh, resin kit, resin from y YGL. And then it comes with also this orange color. So if I, I you can see I actually put, um, as put in all the water dislike decals as well. So if I wanted to switch it up one day, I could. All right, just want to show you this, guys. Mm -hmm.